Hello guys, what's going on? This is Tutagamon. Today is a Crisis 3 benchmarking day on a single GTX 1070 and as always this is a digital recording at 60 frames per second which is done on an external recorder. No software is used to record this on uh, the same computer that will be uh, benchmarked so no system resources will be uh, wasted. I'm using a Core i5-2500 which is overclocked 4.8 GHz let me load it a bit there we are the system has 16 GB of system RAM and the graphics card is a single GTX 1070 KFA2 EX model latest force were installed and it, it is also overclocked so it will be boosting at 2 GHz uh, now for this uh, benchmarking session I'm going to use fraps to gather frame rate data we will see the basic result in this uh, file at the end of the benchmark and some analysis with uh, frame latency analyzer so let me launch the game and let's see how it will perform on the GTX 1070 I was getting uh, around 70 frames per second on the, on the 970 Achieved with CryEngine 3. So first things first, uh, settings, 1080p resolution, uh, medium sub pixel for morphological and the aliasing. Of course uh, the 1070 can max up the game, but I'm using the same settings uh, as my 970. Very high. Uh, system specs and uh, texture resolution and in the advanced graphics I have only disabled the motion blend because uh, it is there uh, so this benchmark has to do uh, benchmark uh, the mission listen up as long as cell controls the power they control us enslave us. Cell's Golden Goose rests at the Zuckerman Energy Nexus near Broad Street Station. They call it System X. This remnant of Ceph technology is contained within a single told you not to say anything about the visions. At least you get your gobs out about me and her. Romeo One, your mic is stuck open. Oops. This way. There she is. Fortune Hydra down. 500 megawatts feeding straight into Cell's high altitude defense system. Cell's dividing their forces between the powerhouses. It's your call how you want to do this. There's Cell's energy nexus, System X. We knock out the dam, and Cell's core defenses are out cold. They can't switch power from System X? It's not on the same grid. Explain this to me. Why a dam when they have an infinite power source in System X? Redundancy? Or maybe there's something about System X that scares them. Look, Psycho, how well do you know these people? Can we trust them? What's with her freaking out about my suit? She hates suits. Don't know why. I don't ask. All I know, it was her team that got me out of the skinning lab. She saved my life. Uh, 
stairs are blocked. We'll have to get the lift working somehow. Off. Okay, through there. Okay, Romeo 1, this is Romeo Actual. I'm assuming control. I need a direct link to the nanosuit's visual output. Over. Roger that. But only for as long as it's necessary. Listen up. Intel suggests. Okay, Romeo 1, this is Romeo Actual. I'm assuming control. I need a direct link to the nanosuit's visual output. Over. Roger that. But only for as long as it's necessary.
the average frame rate was 102 frames per second uh, not too bad considering I was getting 70 on my 970 it is 46% uh, faster it could be a little better but uh, it is what it is uh, frame rate is quite decent the frame times are not uh, too bad either we do have some uh, small spikes here and there imperceivable during the, the gameplay GPU load is at maximum no CPU limits whatsoever the CPU usage is very high as you can see around 80% or more on all uh, four cores very good uh, multi-threading on uh, CryEngine 3 CPU temps are decent RAM usage at 3.8 GB power of the card at 90% give or take GPU temps are fine 2 GHz uh, throughout the run a little dip here nothing serious 1.7 GB of video RAM used very nice We do have a fantastic performance once again from the 1070 very low stuttering very little variability in the frame times uh, low average uh, frame times all very good uh, aspects for a good gaming experience of course uh, uh, the real perceivable uh, frame rate according to the frame times and the calculator is closer to 80 frames per second not 100 but uh, whatever the game felt uh, very smooth frame rate graph very close to 100 frames per second indeed very uh, good performance from the 1070 in terms of uh, frame times we can see that we have uh, a few spikes here and there that's why the calculator suggests uh, a lower frame rate experience but uh, overall nothing too serious good performance time spent beyond 16.7 milliseconds uh, is again excellent very few frame times are above the 16.7 milliseconds less than 1% excellent performance time spent curve again very good with low frame times the percentile is, fan is fantastic of course below 15 uh, milliseconds for all uh, the frame for all the frames with the vast majority uh, even lower and we will see that clearly in the histogram all most of the frame times are at uh, 9 10 11 uh, milliseconds some at uh, 12 milliseconds and the rest uh, around these uh, frame times very good performance from uh, this system in crisis 3 and this specific benchmark of course which is uh, my custom benchmark uh, i hope you find this video informative my friends thank you very much for watching once again take care